for complete setup, preventive maintenance, and safe operating instructions. Please read the operator's manuals that have been enclosed with this tool package. To disassemble the Huck Model 2503 installation tool, begin by removing the rear deflector and setting it aside. Remove the retaining nut. Next, attach open male and female disconnects to the hoses. which will then be placed inside a can for oil drainage. Next, we'll remove the locking ring that holds the back cap in place. Do this by using an Allen wrench to first remove the locking screw. Using a punch and hammer, break the locking ring loose and unscrew by hand. Thread a collet or piston bullet onto the piston. Using a brass punch, drive the piston out of the rear of the tool. The 2503 tool is now completely disassembled. Inspect the tool for any damages or possible problems. Start by looking inside the empty cylinder for any scoring or damage. Then check the piston rod for any damage to the finish. Check the dump valve for damage, scratches, or burrs. And be sure to replace all the rear seals, as well as the front seals down inside the tool. Once all parts have been inspected and seals replaced, it's time to reassemble the 2503. To reinstall the piston and back cap, first make sure all seals were replaced in the piston. Then apply a light coat of lubricant to the piston O-ring and to the front of the piston. Thread on the bullet to help align the piston. Insert the piston back into the tool housing. Using the mallet, gently tap it into place. Now you can remove the bullet. Insert the dump valve. Note that it features four flats. With these four flats facing the back of the tool, the dump valve is placed into the hole of the piston and pushed in until bottomed in front of the cylinder. Before reinstalling the back cap, be sure the inner and outer seals have been changed. Apply a light coating of lubricant on both the outer and inner seals. Reinstall the back cap using a hammer to gently tap it into place until it bottoms out. Now, thread in the back locking ring with the groove facing up. Continue threading until it bottoms out. Using an Allen wrench, tighten the screw. If you encounter a switch problem with the 2503 trigger, first loosen the retainer. and slide the retainer fitting and plastic grommet back on the wire. Using an Allen wrench, loosen the screw holding the trigger button. Using a small screwdriver, gently pry out the trigger and feed the wire back through the handle until you have access to the rear of the trigger. Replace the button if necessary. Then, reinstall by pushing it in as far as it can go and retightening with the Allen wrench. Slide the plastic retaining fitting back on and tighten. Then, screw the retaining nut back on and wrench it until it's tight. The 2503 installation tool is now reassembled and maintained and is ready for testing. To test for hydraulic leaks, begin by locating a Huck 940 or 918 power rig. Plug the tool into the power rig and cycle the tool several times to test for leaks. Pull the trigger so that the piston retracts. Holding the tool at an angle for safety, look inside to see if there are any visible leaks. Also, check for leaks in the back side of the piston. 
Once you've determined there are no leaks, the tool is ready to test using a nose assembly and fastener. Be sure to remember to place the deflector on the back of the tool before any further testing. To install a 3 8 C6L nose assembly, start by inserting a collet onto the front of the tool. Thread it on and tighten with a wrench. Insert a swaging anvil and a retaining nut. The tool is now ready to test with a fastener. To test it, use a C6L pin, collar and washers to simulate the work material. Install this into the front of the nose assembly. Pull the trigger, the collar will swage and the pin tail will break off. When the trigger is released, the piston moves forward and push the fastener out of the anvil when complete. The Huck 2503 installation tool is now ready for operation.